Hey there. Okay, so I'm gonna make my grandmother's homemade eggnog recipe. So this recipe is for a yield of four cups. Um, well, from my experience, we need about a gallon. So I have to quadruple the recipe. Instead of four eggs, I need 16 eggs. So let's uh, let's see. Yep, 16 eggs. So first thing we do is we take the eggs and we have to separate the whites and the yolks. Oh, let me take my uh, ring off first. I don't want to get that messed up. All right, so separate them. With your fans is a lot easier. Just want to hold the yolk, and there we go. And the whites are separated. Two and one in there. Now I remember this uh, having this homemade eggnog for years as a kid. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's easy to make, it's fun, and it just tastes really good. Um, for me, all the uh, commercial eggnogs, while while good, um, are really really thick. Typically, you know, lots of preservatives and stuff. Which which reminds me, when you're buying milk for eggnog, use whole milk. All right, because if you use uh, two percent or one percent, it's going to be very very runny. And this is actually thinner than most of the uh, commercial commercial eggnogs out there. It's uh, very thin. So what I'm doing is I'm separating the yolks and the whites, like I said earlier, but I'm separating the yolk, or the whites rather, into uh, this bowl. And I'll cover this bowl. Oh, my hand got shot. It's okay, my, it's all covered. It's okay, Josh, Josh is filming. Uh, I cover the, this when I'm done, and I put it in the refrigerator, and then this will make great omelets uh, tomorrow. I have lots of eggs ready for omelets in the morning. That's my breakfast. <laughs> It'll be part of your breakfast, that's right, Josh. All right, so. Right. Would you explain your method on <laughs> separating the whites from the yolks? Sure. It's a good question, Josh. Excellent. So, if I was going to explain what I'm doing, it's because you know the mass of the uh, yolk in no, the. No one didn't break. Is, it's okay, well. And my hands are clean, I wash them right before the shoes. So, what I do is, for a hand, I break it into my hand, and. One hand and start. I'm setting it, letting it hang loosely and the uh, whites will drip through and eventually separate from the yolk. Sometimes you have to you know, move your hands a little bit. And occasionally there will be a, um, a casualty, so to speak. I've got at least two yolks in here, which is okay. It'll make for good um, um, color and flavor for the uh, omelet tomorrow. Although it'll be mostly egg whites. That's the benefit of uh, doing this is you get a lot of egg whites too. So uh, if you're gonna do a gallon, which I recommend, definitely get lots of eggs. And they don't have to break when I put them in there, it just makes it easier to break them because I'm gonna have to uh, kind of whip them beforehand. And that's a lot of egg whites. You can make about three omelets with that. Make a lot of omelets with that. But you don't have all the cholesterol because you don't have the yolks. Um, but which is why when you're using real eggs and real eggnog, not commercially made eggnog, you don't want to drink too much of it because it does have preserves. It does have egg yolks in it. All right. All right. So I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. So the next thing to do in the recipe, yeah, it says to beat the yolks until very thick and light in color. Add sugar beating in thoroughly. Now typically yeah, I do use sugar, but I'm also going to use, for this one, I'm going to use Splenda instead. And this is Splenda that can be, um, do we Splenda have enough Splenda? Be, Splenda? No, Splenda can be uh, used one for one ratio. So according to what I understand, we should be able to use it directly. So without having to do any calculations. So it's supposed to have 
quarter cup of sugar. So, per recipe, so we don't put charcoal quadrupling it, so that's one cup of sugar. You think that's enough? So, one cup of Splenda should be plenty. So, we're going to fill this. This is a one cup. Right. I think that's the rest of it, sir. And I have a whole more container right here. Splenda. Actually, this is the Splenda, the, the granulated Splenda. No, it's not. Okay, so, I'm going to put this in here. And I like to add just a little bit more flavor. There we go. Black that bag. <coughs> So take this spoon, wooden spoon my son made in his uh, class, his uh, wood, wood carving class back in uh, Placer High. Which has been years. Yeah. And you mix, mix in all this really good stuff. Alright. So it's a paste. It's kind of like a paste. There's some up in the right upper left corner. Over there you go. Alright, so we also need a teaspoon of salt. And here's my teaspoon. And my salt. I use kosher salt because it doesn't have the iodine taste of table salt. thing is one and a half teaspoons of vanilla which equals uh, I mean, quadruple is six teaspoons so we need six teaspoons of vanilla there's one two there we got some more Three, four, five. Ooh, perfect. And six. I'm gonna take the rest of these. Any more drops? A little extra vanilla always tastes good. So mix this in. Everywhere. Now, now we add the milk, the final ingredient. How much milk? The whole gallon. All the milk. Yep. So pouring it in. I'm gonna pour it in about that much first. And I'm gonna start mixing it so I don't splash everywhere quite so much. And of course the milk is cold, so things aren't lined up, don't want to mix as good right away. I should have a whisk somewhere. Why didn't you take that out the first time? I didn't think about it. The spoon too. Ready for more milk. I'm gonna add more. Save the carton because we're going to put it back into the um, refrigerator uh, into that container. 
we'll label it so if someone doesn't accidentally grab it uh, for milk, because that would be bad. Uh, might not go good with cereal. Unless you like that thing. Unless you like that kind of thing. So. And that's that. <clears throat> what I like to do, add nutmeg. After this is to add some nutmeg, some ground nutmeg, to the initial mix. You also like fresh egg nutmeg. And then the fresh nutmeg will be put on the glass um, separately. That is a special treat. I love putting fresh nutmeg on. You spilled Yes, I did. Thank you. It's an accident. Uh, fresh nutmeg. Get close to the light. All right, so I'm gonna get a glass. Got my nutmeg. Neighbor's wing since 2000 BC. And where's the ladle? There's the ladle. All right. So take the ladle. I'm gonna have fun with the dishes tonight. Put some in, <coughs> and now I'm going to take the microplane, put it over the top, take the fresh nutmeg, whole nutmeg, scrape it over, voila, <coughs> and now it is done and ready to drink. So let's see how it tastes so splendid. Still good, really good. All right, so that completes Grandma Ann's recipe for homemade nut, uh, eggnog. Uh, hope I made it simple enough for you to follow. Uh, enjoy and happy holidays.